seen that. All right, so Aaron is here with me. Taylor's also here. I don't know how many of the Predator movies right. he's seen, but uh, feel free to chime Zero. in. Zero. <laughs> uh, Except the Alien vs. Predator. You've seen two of them. So we are going to rank the Predator franchise. We just finished up all the movies. It's six movies if you include Alien vs. Predator. And uh, it was rough. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more fun going through it, and it, it was not as good as I anticipated. But Aaron, what is your number six? So your worst movie of the entire franchise. Okay, and this is including the Alien vs. Predator movies. Yes. So number six is going to be, without a shadow of a doubt, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have too. It It is clearly the worst. It has no story. It has no... There's really hardly anything to redeem it. I, I said at the end of our that that podcast, the Alien vs. Predator one, it's like, it can only get worse. Like I gave it a negative four out of you know negative five to five, but it it just just barely like if the predator burst into a sing song and did like you know dancing in the rain, this is the only way that movie gets better. worse. <laughs> it would would have crossed into like crazy fun. Wait, wait did you just reference, levels? wait wait did you just reference a Clockwork Orange? Uh, I've never seen it, but sure. Okay. Yeah. Does he do that? Well, we should watch that movie. You'll never look at singing in the rain the same ever again. <laughs> I promise. A Clockwork Orange will ruin that song for yeah. you. But continue. Um, but so it. I'm in. IMDb <laughs> gave Alien vs. Predator 2 a 4.7, which out of the franchise gives it the sixth slot. So it's the worst according to IMDb. Okay. What is your number five? Okay. Number five is Alien versus Predator. <laughs> Shocker. The first one. Yeah. Which I agree to. <laughs> the I mean this this is only slightly I, I knew I was prepared for. It's only slightly I hate better. that it's actually called A V P Alien versus Predator. Like that's like the sub mm -hmm. title. Because it's just saying Alien versus Predator. Alien versus Predator. It's like saying a Ford F one fifty. <laughs> well, what the, the the problem, the thing about it though is, you you have to look at the time and the place. They were trying to establish a brand. They really thought that AVP. You know, have you ever heard of the movie Independence Day? Well, if you talk to someone that has watched it and grew up in that era, we don't call it Independence Day. What do we call it? Oh, you, you know, just got, so you just yeah. got censored. You you said what do we call it? And then your mic dropped out completely. The government did uh, not we, want you to share that information. Uh, we call it ID4, uh, Independence Day. You know, for July 4th, they combined all that. It was during that whole time. So what they were doing is they were trying to establish an AVP brand, and yeah. it, and it, like it would have worked. But it, it would have worked if the movies were good, because then you would you, then you could just call it AVP one, AVP two, AVP three, all the way up to however many they wanted to make. Yeah, which I don't know. It's hard to say, like, like I, I said. Just call it AVP. Let people figure it out. Well, because I was <laughs> saying like KFC, right? That that has become its own thing. It doesn't even mean Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore. I don't think they've officially just accepted KFC as their name, mm -hmm. and people yep. people get on board with that stuff, right? Like it's not a problem. Right. But I don't know if I think everyone would still call it Alien versus Predator. I don't know if people would call it, get to the point where they call it AVP, because it sounds oh, yo, weird. Did you see AVP? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. So good. But uh, So IMDb gives no, yeah. Alien vs. Predator number one a 5.6, which puts it at number four okay. on the, Interesting. the the rankings. Uh, Father Ironheart says, back in the day, I called it AVP. Yeah, it's not surprising, Father Ironheart. You make a lot of bad choices. Well, I, I, I think when the movie came out, everyone knew that it was Alien versus Predator, so they just called it AVP because it's quicker. Yeah. yeah. But now, I mean, looking back on it, you would say, why would, why would anybody call that? <laughs> um, number four, Aaron. Yeah. What is your number four slot? Number four goes to... <laughs> Predator 2. Okay. We're like identical lists so far. Why yeah, did... because you, you adore me and you <laughs> saw my notes. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have a list. I just have scribbles over <laughs> here. I'm just going to say... Uh, I, I have said, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the different me too. 
Um, lightly. What is your reasoning for putting Predator Two in the number four slot? Pred- Predator Two, because there was really like no rhyme or reason to uh, the Predator's existence in the film. Mm-hmm. Just killed people just because they were in the way of the main character. Yeah, like they didn't pose, they didn't pose a threat to him. He just showed up, killed people, and then at the end of the movie, he lost to Danny Clover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're trying to make like a noir detective movie with the predator being the one to kill yeah except they showed the predator doing it all you cut the predator out of the first half of that movie until they have the showdown in the alleyway and then it makes way more sense but now real quick i haven't seen these movies but maybe you can answer this question do Mm -hmm. they take place in the same universe as lethal weapon i wish i i hope so in my mind, they do. <laughs> I just, I just heard Danny Glover detective. Yeah, and Danny I Glover. Some wishful thinking. Just, just watch the first twenty minutes of Predator Two, and just pretend that, that it is in the Lethal Weapon series, and it'll still make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, but yeah, so I give the Predator Two. I put that in number four. This on IMDb has a six point three, which would actually give it the number three slot. Ooh. So, what is your number three slot? Fancy. Yeah. Number three spot would have to go to um, Predators, the one okay. where they're they're on the planet. Yeah. For me, I really struggled knowing the top three. I they're so neck and neck, and right. I just had to go with the things that I liked that made it just a little bit better for me. So I put mm-hmm. Predator, the first one, Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the number three slot. Because Dang. it's just not as well done. Um, it's not as well. It's not as well acted. It's not as well shot. It's not as fun to watch. It's a better movie, a better story, but the story is the only thing that, like, is better in my opinion. And so, you're saying a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger's not well acted? <laughs> yeah, no, it's hurting my heart. It's, the, hold on, the same guy from Jingle All the Way. <laughs> <laughs> With, I think with Sinbad and Junior, <laughs> I'm the baby and the twins. There's also you also got Jesse Ventura in that one. You also yeah. have uh, who else was You're in just it? Totally destroying your case with every person. Carl Weathers. <laughs> Carl Weathers. Uh, yeah, um, I love Carl Weathers. They're all the the, sure. the top three for me are all pretty similar. Um, but Predators looks way nicer, and the Predator I think is more fun. So I gave those well, two. So, the not so I will but. agree with I will agree and say that the Predators is a more like cinema, cinematic or whatever you call it. Uh, yeah. It looked it looked like uh, it just looked way better, but yeah. the story was stupid. The cast yeah. was dumber, and when you Debatable. throw in when you, when you throw in the um, Topher Grace uh, Lawrence Fish, no no oh, no the Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne. Fishburne. Yeah. I was going to get there when you throw in the Lawrence Fishburne character. And then at the very end, of course, when they're all about to die, that's when Topher Grace is like, oh, guess what? I'm a psychopath. I'm going to kill you instead of try to (laughs) self-preservate. And by the way, Predator, you can understand me, and you're not going to kill me because I'm one of you. I thought that was so stupid. Oh, yeah. No, it's definitely dumb for sure. Topher Grace is in this movie? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Topher Grace. Yeah, dude. dude. In Predators. Is this the newest one? In Predators. No. No, this one came on, what, 2008? Um... Maybe it's, Some, it's, somewhere it's, in there. It came out in the came out in in the mid two thousands. The same Topher Grace that, in my opinion, got snubbed for his portrayal of Eddie Brock in Spider Man Three. <laughs> yeah, that same <laughs> one. Yeah, he didn't get. So uh, the just to tell you, just to tell you, Taylor, the basic premise of the movie is the Predators are snatching people up from Earth and dropping them on the planet and then hunting them. And the story revolves around this group of people from different various points in the in the world being dropped at the same time and forming a group to try to figure out what's going on because no one knows what's going on. And everybody's military, right? Everyone's military for the most part, except well, for Topher Great. Everyone is <laughs> uh, warriors. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, warriors. Right, because you have uh, the Topher cartel, the Yakuza. That's fantastic. Yeah. 
and nobody they, knows why he's they, there. The Yakuza, the Yakuza is it like the teenager Yakuza from Fast and Furious? <laughs> yeah, it's that guy. Except he's a samurai, fourteen-year-old. They legit. Mob boss? He has a samurai fight with the predator in an open field. It's awesome. <laughs> it's that, it's dude, madness. Look up, look up that fight. Look up that fight on YouTube and tell me that's not like anime come to life. It's, that's oh, definitely boy, what I'm it excited. is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, 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 the grass is flowing in the wind. There's hardly, I don't think there's any music at all. And it's just them fighting. It was, it was a good fight. It was good. It was just so out of place and racist. Uh, predators got a 6.4 on IMDb, which gives it the number two slot, according to IMDb. Ooh. And Predator, the one that I chose for number three, got a 7.8, which got a number one. And these rankings feel a little skewed to nostalgia. You know what I mean? I think because a lot of it is based off of uh, audience score and critic score and stuff like that. Because I would not right. say Predator is a 7.8. You know, like that's a... I would say that. You say it is? Yeah. I don't know, man. Then the other 100%. ones need to come up. If that one's a 7.8, the other one shouldn't be down in the fives. But uh, number two, well, what's your number two slot? Number two is the 2017 The Predator movie. Yeah, that's what I gave mine too. I thought this one and, was, you know, it's it's the best looking because it's the newest. And yeah. the characters actually have relatability, a little bit of fun. They have, you know, a bit more depth than any of the other characters in the rest of the series. You feel... You kind of want them to survive for like half a minute and then you're like, ah, who cares? Once they start dying, like it doesn't really matter. Once the, the Theon Greyjoy guy dies, you're like, right. oh, okay, I get it. Everyone's going to die. That's fine. I'm, I'm on board with this. But before that point, you're kind of like invested in them surviving. Um, I'm not. <laughs> so why did you give a number two if you're not invested in the characters? Because that's the, I gave a number two. the shining point for me it, of the Predator. Well, you, you, you're you're making me try to split hairs between garbage and the <laughs> the you know when you look at the the lower six movies like uh, Predator Two and Alien versus Predator movies, I just chose those because they were I mean those were just awful movies, right? Yeah. And and you you're to me you're more harsher on movies that just came out than than a movie that came out in the '80s that they're still trying to figure out how to shoot action and and all that sort of stuff and. Uh, but I chose this one because it was to me it was it was a better looking movie as it should yeah. than Predators, right? Yeah. And um, they like yeah. I like Thomas Jane. Yeah. Uh, I like um, uh, well, I think that's it. I think that's uh, the only character <laughs> that I like in the entire movie. I like but Thomas Jane. I, I like Nebraska. I'm a huge Thomas Jane fan. The guy who played oh, Nebraska. You know what? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The guy that threw himself into <laughs> the engine at the very end of the movie, but. Um, but no, uh, like just it was it was a better shot movie. Um, so it were way better than any other Predator movie ever, because you know when he woke up in the scientist's office and just massacring everyone, it showed off his. Um, you know he didn't kill Olivia Munn because why? Because there was no honor in killing her at the beginning. Yeah. And uh, you know there was just it was a culmination of just you know it's still trash. There's it's still a, a <laughs> yeah. bad movie. Yeah. But it's the best of all the bad movies up until my number one, of course. Yeah, yeah I would, like I said, I, I think I had the most fun with the characters in The Predator. And mm -hmm. that's that's what kind of gets you, at least me, gets me engaged in the story. So like, if I'm having a good time with the characters, I can overlook plot holes a lot easier than if the characters are just boring, then it's like the only thing I have left is to see all the things I also don't like. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's no, right. if you don't have a character who's like guiding you through it, then it's just kind of like, uh, this is just all bad. But uh, let's see, the Predator got a 5.4, giving it the number five slot, according to IMDb. Dang. Which, wow. Uh, yeah, second worst. Beat down. Yeah. Which seems crazy to me because... <laughs> That, that cannot be the truth. <laughs> it's it it puts Alien versus Predator one rated better than the um, Predator, which makes zero sense. It does. I agree with that. But uh, number one would be Predators 
for me and I'm assuming Predator for you. The original. What did you like about the original? Uh, the original one for me, um, you know, whenever I watched it as a kid, I only wa- I was only able to watch it on normal TV, so everything was cut out. You know, all the all the gore, everything. So it was kind of all left in my imagination. And then when I got older, then um, you know, I was able to see it more. And you know, granted, the story is uh, shoelace thin, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, how many movies back in the day? Uh, especially with Arnold in there, were actually thicker than a shoestring. No. So, you know, it, it was Jingle just uh, for me. I'm sorry? Jingle all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was so many levels to that movie. You have no idea. But no, but for me, it was just, it was, it was a ton of fun. And then it just, be, it's, it's popularity. And again, I know it's nostalgia point, but it's popularity has only grown over time. Yeah. And I think that as we get older, when, the nostalgia starts to die with my generation. I think it'll still grow. Whereas these other movies, even from the predator all the way down to alien versus predator, those will just be pushed by the wayside. And this will be always loved and remembered as like, you know, the era of the dudes with the big muscle. I mean, you know, the Dylan and always forget uh, Arnold's name in that movie. When they do the hand smack, you, you yourself said that you were like wife, and forgive me, I, I forgot your wife's name. You're like, wife, come over here. I just called her wife. This. You're like, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. <laughs> and then when they did the hand clap, you, you cheered or whatever you did just because you were waiting for that moment. You're very poorly definitely- representing my life. <laughs> but I did. I was like, hey, here it comes. Here it comes. And she's like so confused. I was like, look, it's the meme. It's the meme. And she's like, what are you talking about? And then it happened. She started cracking up laughing. Um, yeah, and and. In the podcast, you describe yourself running through the house, I, screaming at the top of your lungs like I a little ripped girl. My shirt off, I dumped, I flipped <laughs> tables over. I was so excited. There it is! There it is! <laughs> uh, yeah, so I gave uh, Predators my number one. Um, you know, it does everything Predator, the original does, just a little bit better. It's just, mm-hmm. and, and only because of the technology. That's the only reason why it's any better. Um, the story is weaker, but everything else, you know, is a few, uh, you know, just a couple notches. And so it's just really hard to give story precedent over every other technical aspect. And I know it's not fair to judge, uh, you know, 40 years different or whatever it is, 30 years different between the two to say like, oh, yeah, this is better because it's technically better but i'm watching both of them today and so it's like which one did i enjoy more which one was i which one was easier to accept and like and be you know part of and for me that's predators so that's right well let me let me ask you this question Mm. because i think i already know the answer then you can move on to the alien rankings what predator looked better the 12 foot cgi monster or the predator that that Arnold and all the guys fought in the original, just between those two, just between those two. Oh yeah, the the practical practical will always right. you know always look better, but they they did practical in Predators. Those are all practical aliens or predators. Yeah, but they got rid of the they they get rid of that one as soon as they possibly could. You're talking about the Predator. Wait a minute, I think I'm getting yours yours. Yeah. No. Nope. So Pre- your number one is Predators, Predators. with Adrian oh, Brody. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I I got them mixed up with yeah, the yeah. Predator. So yeah. no, that's because the naming scheme question. is terrible. Question. Yeah. Question retracted. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So yeah, they didn't they didn't oh. use any they don't they didn't use any CGI at all uh, as far as the the Predators except for when they went in cloak they were all done practically. Yeah. Well, they actually did really good. Um, in Predators Mm -hmm. with the practical stuff because they could have, you know, done bad CGI because that was what was common at that time, you know, 2010-ish. Right. But they, you know, they stuck pretty true to it. Even like a lot of the traps and stuff, all that, it was all pretty much practical. Good. uh, All right. So that wraps up our rankings of the Predator franchise. Let us know in the comments what you think is the best or the worst or what you disagree with us and why you think Aaron's opinions are bad. And we will be back with uh, Twilight soon.